Hi, welcome to the noise pad. Sometimes people ask me how much does YouTube pay a channel like mine through their advertising platform? Well, I can show you. So here you go, I'm logged into my YouTube studio. You can see all my individual videos over here. You can see the thumbs down to thumbs down ratio, which only the authors can now see, as well as the number of views and everything else. There's over 300 videos on my channel, for example. But if you go over analytics, there's even more data that really only I can see, but I have no problem sharing it with you. So this is only for the past 28 days, but let's look at it for the entire lifetime of the channel since its inception. So if we go over here and we go over lifetime, it's going to update that and take a look. You can see how many views I've had, how many watch hours there are there, which is quite amazing actually considering how small my channel is. This is a fairly large number. Number of subscribers, 134,000 and the estimated revenue, $31,000. That's $31,000 since May 20th of 2011. So that's over 14 years, only $31,000. Ends up being something like $180 a month. So it's not a lot, but then how much does making a video actually cost? Well, of course it depends on the video, but videos that I produce on my channel can cost thousands of dollars. For example, I'm working on one video on gamma spectroscopy, looking at isotopes and actually detecting what kind of radioactive isotope is generating the gamma radiation. So I had to go buy a whole bunch of equipment, I had to buy different things that we could take apart and actually see exactly how it works, even detector tubes that we're going to break and see how they're built inside. So it's a really interesting video. So that video costs about, about $7,000 of equipment that I had to buy in order to make it. And that doesn't include, of course, the time that I spent on the video itself, anything like that. But I have a few philosophies on the channel that I've always wanted to keep. For example, I don't have mid-roll ads, ads that show up in between the video. I think they're super annoying. I would actually remove ads altogether if I could. But if you remove ads completely from the YouTube video, there are some indications that YouTube doesn't kind of prioritize your videos anymore, doesn't show them as often. So I have to leave it in there just to make sure that it actually has the reach. Of course, the interaction with the video and the comments do help a lot because that YouTube algorithms then pick it up. But another thing I never do is that I don't have any sponsors for the channel. And the reason is because there's already enough ads that are in your life. I don't need to put another one in my video. Now I understand why a lot of YouTube creators have to do this because of course it's revenue. And I get maybe about five or 10 emails a week asking different entities, so you wanna advertise on the channel. I've always said no to them or just simply ignore them. Just because I don't want to have another thing that I have to do on the channel that connects me to, let's say, a particular vendor just because I'm promoting them. Nothing wrong with that necessarily, I just don't want it on my channel. Now having said that, of course the Patreon and the PayPal support that I get for the channel has been extremely helpful. Even if it doesn't cover the cost of making these videos, it still helps the channel significantly. But everything I make is always free. There's nothing's behind a paywall, nothing's behind a Patreon paywall, and the whole point of it is that I want to make sure the only barrier to learning for anyone is curiosity. There should be really no other barrier for our species. Not where you were born, how much money you have, it's just a matter of are you curious enough to learn the topic. And I really want to make sure that that philosophy continues. So any support that you give to the channel directly comes back to the channel and helps me you know, be able to make more of these videos and of course the time that I spend on it is my pleasure and it's also my passion that I can be able to uh, jump in this and produce the kind of content that you might enjoy. But I thought I'd just let you know what is actually going on in the background because if you want to make a YouTube channel, you probably aren't going to make actual money from it unless you have you know, millions of subscribers and you do a lot of ads and you have products that you sell. Another person that I know who doesn't do any sparse content is of course Dave from EVIOblog and that's his livelihood. You know, he has a store, he has sells other things and he has managed to avoid that partially because of his beliefs, I think, and also partially because he doesn't need to and that helps this channel going. But almost the majority of all uh, content providers have to do this in order to survive. Now, of course, this is my hobby, it's not my main job, so I can afford to do this. But I wanted to show you what it's actually all about. And speaking of giving back to the community, it's been a while since I've given away an oscilloscope. So how about a Siglin this time? I will buy and give away a 1000X HD 4-channel oscilloscope from Siglin to a random person in the comment section of this video. But please only ask for it if you genuinely can afford one yourself. And I really want to make sure it goes to somebody who's going to get good use out of it, especially for educational purposes. And everybody on Patreon is automatically entered also just to make your life a little bit easier. And if you do want to support the channel, and if you want to give back to the community also, it's really straightforward. The link is in the description and anything you give to the channel will go directly back into making future videos. As always, I'll see you next time.